All right, first off, I'm going to say praises to you, Howard. Bashimi Oshai, Bashimi Kakwadash. The blunders to the apostles of James and all your brothers in the highways and the byways doing the work of the most high in sincerity and in truth. Master Shalom. Alright, this is the brother Awar again with another episode of Facts and Fiction. Right? As Mr. Time and Time and Time again. Right? The, the, the Christians mainly. Right? Based on the fictions or the fables that they teach in the scriptures. Um, drive a lot of our people not to believe in the scriptures because when they read the scriptures, right, this is something totally different, right? So we are we we as set up as men of the Lord to destroy and to tear down all lies set up by the so-called white men, seeing the so-called white man, right, and these churches that they set up, right, and these other religions, right, and also members. Are those who say they are Hebrew Israelite teaching this doctrine that are teaching a whole, a whole bunch of lies, right? All right, the fiction that I'm going in today or tonight, rather, is the fiction of O Bright and Happy Day, because that is what Christian teach, and that is what they sing mainly in their song, O Bright Happy Day. Yeah, we all know that song, right? Because I said when time. Jesus come back this is going to be a bright happy wonderful nice nice day right because to Christians they are already saved right if you ask a Christian no if him see him say yes <laughs> right when the scripture don't say he that endure it to the end the same shall be saved shall right even Paul himself say, hey, him take and them ban. I you know him have to preach to others, lest him himself be a, um, cast away, just paraphrasing. Don't remember the scripture word for word. Right? So him have to keep on them bonds, they keep him foot. Lest him preach to others, him himself be a cast away. Not even Paul never say him save it, yeah? Right? You don't get, you're not saved until you're delivered from out of what is going to happen. Right? And in the end, what is going to happen is not all oh, bright, happy day. Right? The day of the Lord is not a bright, happy day. Right? No, we are going to, go, we are going to go, go into the facts of the day of the Lord. Right? Now let us hear what the scripture has to say. Alright. First scripture is Isaiah 2, verse 11. Alright. The lofty looks of man shall be humble. And the heartiness of men shall be bowed down. The Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. Right? Nobody else now get exalted here. Eh? Right? So this is all about all about the Lord. This is not this is this have nothing to do about us. It is the mercy of the Lord that whosoever he wish to be saved will be saved. Right? So when Christians proudly say hey, they are saved, sanctified, and Holy Ghost filled, that's bullshit. Right? And who up a day when, 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 when the Lord come because they're already saved. That is what is um what these people have stuck in their mind. That they are saved. And it is going to be a wonderful day. Right? That is bullshit. Alright, it's a for the day of the Lord of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty and upon everyone that is lifted up and he shall be brought low right so all of them proud people here say look them safe sanctified and all goes filled and a happy day or bright day the day of the lord is going to be upon you yeah right because you don't understand what the day of the lord is right <laughs> next scripture real real quick Isaiah 13 verse 6 let us go into the day of the Lord yeah? alright this is Isaiah 13 verse 6 it's a whole he let us look up that you know we are James we go into the words yeah? we have to know the meaning of the words when you read alright 
this is from the Hebrews the strengths right it's a the, the, the Hebrew for whole see in the Hebrew word is yalal it means to whole to wheel right when a wheel we are to mourn to make whole in right so the scripture says you're supposed to have ball you're supposed to a cry right you're supposed to have fret you're supposed to have worry because guess what you don't know if you're a saver or not right and this is the day the Lord that we're talking about a whole heap of, whole heap of wickedness a whole heap of some things we, we never imagined I got up on that day yeah right if I know the day of the Lord you wouldn't even make that song in the first place right it's a whole he whole he for the day of the Lord is at hand it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty so it's a destruction I drop left right and send that center within that destruction you don't know if you are saved right you don't know if you are you are chosen you don't know you do you don't know if you are part of the elect you don't know if you are part of the chosen chosen few so the scripture said hold he cry will weep mourn right for the day of the lord is at hand it shall come as a destruction from the almighty so the day of the lord is a what is a destruction yeah it's a therefore shall all hands be faint and every man's eye shall melt now think about that yeah it's a all hands shall be faint right you're like a weak man you talk about oh happy day oh happy day when oh, you ain't gonna be happy day yeah this is going to be a day of mourning and weeping, yeah? Right? It's a therefore shall all hands be faint and every man's heart shall melt and they shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrows shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that shall veil it. They shall be amazed one of another. Their faces shall be as flames. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, both with wrath and with fierce anger. To lead the land desolate and he shall destroy the sinners there the rough out of it and guess what guess what christianity don't pre you know christianity don't preach um this say christianity said what the laws are done away with that's what christianity preach christianity give you the right to sin right christianity give you the right to sin so you can do all manner of wickedness right and also forgiveness right willfully right and get forgiveness because Christianity don't teach the laws Christianity don't teach you that look if you break the laws that is sin yeah? Christianity don't teach you that sin is a transgression of the laws right the only thing Christianity know of sin is fornication yeah? mainly Right, so Christianity teach that you can have willful sin, right? Because they don't, they don't know the laws, yeah. Right, they know the laws, but guess what? They said, look, the laws are done away with. So you can do whatever you want to do. You can eat whatever you want to eat. You can live the way you want to live. Right, they don't teach that the law when you break the laws is sin. Right, so guess what? The sinners thereof shall be destroyed out of it, yeah. And who mainly for blame for that? Christianity. Right? It's a beyond the day of the Lord cometh, cruel both with wrath and with fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall be destroyed. The sinners. Those who don't want to accept that what? When you break the laws, you sin, yeah. See, the lay the days of the Lord are gonna come upon you, wicked people, yeah, that despise the most of laws, commandments, and statutes right it's a for the stars of heaven and the constellation thereof shall not give their light the sun shall be dark and darkened in his in his going forth and the moon shall not cause her light to shine and i will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity and i will cause the arrogance of the proud to cease and will lay low the heartiness of the terrible I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the gold wedge of offer. Right? So, hey, 
so the, a reading from that alone make you, make you want to shake in your clothes and you think about um, what is going to come in the future, yeah? When you think about the most like, coming back, hey, it's something to make you quick in yourself, yeah? Right? Go to the, this next scripture real quick, the um, final scripture, because I'm not make this long. Short and to the point. The fox to the point, yeah. All right, Amos 5, verse 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, right? To what end is it for you? Now these Christians all are saying, can't wait for God come. And can't wait for this and them can't wait for that. Lord, hurry up and come for your world, because this and because that. The scripture says, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, yeah? To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. <laughs> Let me read that again. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a, from a lion and a bear met him. Or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. So you're going to run from one trouble to the next. Everywhere you turn is going to be trouble, weeping and mourning, yeah? Right? This is the day of the Lord, yeah? It's no oh, happy day. <laughs> it's no merry day. I think that you have to come back from, 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 um, from clothes fluff. Right? And come brush and comb in here. Hey, that's bullshit. These, those are fairy tales, yeah? Those are fables. This is the reality. And this is what is going to happen to the majority of people, yeah? Right? It said, Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even, even very dark, and no brightness in it? I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will not smell your solemn assemblies. Right? Say, so, hey, the day of the Lord is going to be very terrible, yeah? So right now, all people need to repent and come back to the law, status, and commandments. Are you how about Shemi or Shai? Right? And tremble here, yeah? pray and beg. Because what is coming is nothing nice. Right? It's the, the, the time of Jacob's trouble is going to be trouble. The scripture says it's gonna be something you never hey. Not no trouble not gonna be like this from the world was created. Yeah? So think about all the worst things we ever happen in the world. What are gonna come in the day of the Lord, hey, it's not gonna be nothing nice. Right, so and a time for play around or joke around, right, and sing song and try to make other people believe. Otherwise, yeah, it's not going to be a nice, happy day. Even though hey, people are going to get delivered, it's still not going to be a nice, happy day, yeah. Right, hey, I hope this video was straight to the point, right, no go around corner, right, so with that, more say. All praises again to Yahweh Bashim and Shai Bashim Rakakodash, the blind of the apostles of GMS, and all your brothers in the highways and the byways doing the, doing the work of the most and sincerity and in truth. Right? Shalom.